perfectly fair is uh, that we reject the topic of finitude as the ultimate horizon. <coughs> we notice, both of us, the strange reversal with regard to 19th century, where usually infinity was the spiritual infinity idealism, finitude was concrete being materialism. Mm -hmm. Today, it's almost the opposite. Obscurantism and spiritualism <laughs> today are supported by the topic of finitude. Mm -hmm. It's by saying, no, we are finite, fragile, and so on, that you open up an empty space where all the ghosts of spiritualism can dwell, and so on, and so on. So that would be another feature. But to ask, to answer you directly, yes, the question is, because, you know, uh, Lacan, of course, and this is the Lacan that I really hate, I'm ready to admit, the Lacan that I detect in what you quoted, it's the most arrogant Lacan. It's like, I'm unique and great, but there will be in the future ordinary men who will try to drag me back into... <laughs> that's, that's where I violently, violently disagree with Lacan. I think the true greatness is to accept it. And, uh, you know, I'm here, I remain here purely a philosopher, radically, in the sense of, you know, Whenever somebody says, I leave behind ontology and so on and so on, if you read him closely, you discover traces of a non-reflected, usually very bad ontology. So what I would say, the fundamental category I'm struggling with here is this idea, which unfortunately was elaborated even in some Gnostic tradition, of course, I don't want to do that, this idea of unfinished reality in the sense of, in this sense, we should abandon ontology only in the sense if by ontology we think of pure, positively constituted reality. And I think the way I read also your point about original multiplicity, it's precisely as you emphasize, it's not a multiplicity composed of ones. It's a multiplicity which is a radical multiplicity. You cannot come to the end and they say, then say fine. So this idea of, uh, of, of uh, and here I follow even Meyasu, although again, in a, then immediately I take a different path. <laughs> this idea of how, what we, misperceive as the limitation of our knowledge, not limitation in the sense of finitude, but incompleteness, should be immediately ontologized into incompleteness of reality itself. Mm -hmm. This is how I would have read, I try to do it now in a materialist way, outside all the bullshit about how our mind creates reality, the lesson of quantum physics. This terrible lesson that really in itself, things are not fully constituted. In this sense, I am against the ontology, this full positive ontology, which I find, in spite of all my admiration for Lenin, for example, in Lenin's uh, materialism and imperial criticism, where the problem becomes, you know, are there really things outside there fully existing? And this asymptotic, I think what we share is total opposition to this asymptotic notion of truth. There is full reality out there. We gradually but never perfectly approach it where? No wonder you know who admired deeply materialism and imperial criticism. A ferocious anti-communist, if there ever was one, Karl Popper. <laughs> you notice that. In spite of all his criticism, he said, but material imperial criticism, Lenin is... Excellent there. No, I claim he is not. But I, 